Hello, my sisters and brothers. God bless all of you. And I confess that Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, has come in the flesh. Listen, the Lord opened up my eyes to something very, very important this morning. If ever anyone is coming against you, being hateful, cursing you, or wishing wicked and evil upon you, you are by no means ever to repay that person back in prayer. You are to bless and pray for them that curse you because this is what separates us from the world. The world, they only bless those that bless them and they're only nice to people that are nice to them but there is no reward in that the reward comes when people are wishing harm upon you and doing evil against you and you bless them and pray for them and pray that they come to repentance and find the Lord you know he was trying to take me to a higher level and he was showing me people who were doing evil against me and cursing me and he even asked me how do I want them to be judged and I answered incorrectly. And that's when he showed me this verse. I wasn't praying that they find repentance. I wasn't blessing them. I wasn't hoping that they find the Lord. I prayed differently. And we are not to do that by no means. You know, we, are, we were born into sin. So this is a natural fleshly response. And this is why he says, die to your flesh daily so that we don't respond like this. When Jesus Christ was on the cross and they crucified him, the first thing that he said was, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And we are to follow his example and be Christ-like. And this will bring such a huge blow to the kingdom of Satan, let me tell you. Because it is such a difficult thing to do. And when somebody is coming against you and you pray that they find the Lord and you bless them and you pray for them, great is your reward, saith the Lord. It says, bless them that curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you. And unto them that smite thee on the one cheek, offer also the other. And him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also. You know, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay it. Do not ever take it upon yourself to come against someone. You can destroy a curse and come against the curse, but never are you supposed to come against the person who wish any harm. Listen, I was literally shaking when he brought this verse to my attention because I knew of it. You know, I heard it. But I never thought that I would actually be in this position where somebody was going to be coming against me with, you know, magic and spells and witchcraft. I never thought that. So I naturally responded to what my flesh wanted me to respond, how my flesh wanted me to respond. And this is where he was trying to take me to a higher level because many are going to come against us. Many are talking about us calling us witches and false prophets and that's a good thing because Luke 6 26 says woe to you when everyone speaks well of you for that is how their ancestors treated the false prophets so this is not a bad thing when people are coming against you wishing evil upon you and uh, cursing you calling you false and a witch this is a good thing Luke 6 26 says it woe to everyone who speaks well of you it says, give to every man that acts of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. And as you would that men should do to you, do you also to them likewise. How you expect to be treated, you treat that person also. For if you love them which love you, where is the reward in that? For sinners also love those that love them. And if you do good to them which do good to do, where is the reward in that? For sinners also do, do the same. And if you lend to them of whom you hope to receive, where is the reward in that? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. He's saying, if you give to someone, don't ask them to pay you back. The Lord wants you to give with all your heart and to do it out of love because he is love. And he wants us to follow his example. But love your enemies and do good and lend hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great and you shall be the children of the highest. For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. 
So he wants us to take the higher road. He wants us to do what's difficult because there has to be a separation with his people and the people of the world. They have to see the difference. And this is a very difficult thing to do because naturally when we were in the world, if someone did harm against us or hated us and was wicked against us, you know how we would react without even blinking, without even hesitating. And that's why he says, renew your mind and die daily to your flesh so that you don't respond like this. And Jesus, you know, he is watching our every move just like the enemy is. And when he was revealing certain people to me, for some reason, I thought that he was trying to tell me like to pray against them because I am against these people for they are doing wicked in my eyes and it is abomination, but no. And you know what? The enemy also sent somebody in my path to teach me to pray this way. And I got blinded by it. I didn't pray bad, but I didn't pray good. I didn't wish them to come to repentance. I didn't wish that uh, the Lord bless them and for them, for God to open up their eyes so that they can see the truth and follow him and get out of darkness. I didn't say any of those things. And this is what he wants us to do, whether we like it or not. We are to love those that curse us and love our enemies and pray for them and bless them. As difficult as that can be, sometimes we have to do it because many are going to come against us. And he wants to see how we're going to respond. This is a training. In order to get to a new level, a higher level, you got to do things that are difficult. You got to do things that are extremely difficult for you to do. And that's where the breakthrough comes. You can't keep responding to your flesh. And as long as we are in the flesh, we are going to make mistakes. We're going to fall short. I know I do. I always fall short. I'm always asking for uh, grace, thanking God for his grace and his love and his mercy and for forgiving me every time that I repent. And he says, for the goodness of God leads you to repentance. So every time he opens up your eyes to something like this that you are blind to, you are to praise him and give him all the glory and honor for only he deserves. Because he says the goodness of God leads you to repentance. So when you repent, it is a great thing. Those who don't repent, you will perish. Let me see if I can find a, a verse really I tell you Luke 13 3 I tell you no but unless you repent you too will perish repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out that times of refreshing may come from the Lord Acts 3 19 and this was a huge wake-up call for me and it's so strange because I knew of this verse. I've read it before, but actually being in that position, it was different. You know, I totally answered um, fleshly. You know, I answered the way that our flesh would um, wants us to answer. And I don't know, it just took me by surprise. And I was just like, why is he showing me this? Why is he showing me, you know, who are my enemies? And he wants me to take the higher road. He wants us to take the higher road. I know I was supposed to do a video about the three days of darkness and uh, the earthquake, which I'll, I will do today. But this really, I felt compelled to make this video and to speak on this because it was just very deep for me. And what the Lord is trying to get us to do. To be like him. Christ-like. So I hope, I hope you guys were blessed by this. And I will do another video shortly. And God bless you. And I'll talk to you soon.